white balance is an integral part of color management for both photos and for videos. And in this tutorial, I'll show you where this feature is hidden in Final Cut's interface. And it goes without saying that for the best color results, white balance should be set when you're filming. Whatever, it's a good idea when setting the white balance on your camera, that's during the shoot, that you use a grey card or even a white sheet of paper and take a shot of that card or paper so that it can be viewed when you're in post-production. Alternatively, if the camera is set at full auto, then white balance will be set by the camera anyway. And if this is the case, it's even more important that you're able to adjust it in post-production. Final Cut can do this for you, but it doesn't scream out on how to do it. But where's it hiding in Final Cut Pro? Well, select the clip in the timeline, and towards the center of the screen, you'll see a small magic wand. There are three color-related choices, and two audio-related choices. Top of the list is Balance Color. If you select Balance Color, it becomes ticked. But maybe nothing much has happened except for some minor color changes in the clip. To see where to adjust the balance color, open the Final Cut Inspector and select the Film Strip tab. At the top, you'll see balance color is set at automatic. Select the automatic drop down and you can choose white balance. And when you move the cursor over the viewer, it changes to an eyedropper but make sure that the transform tool is turned off, otherwise you won't see it. Click or drag the eyedropper over your gray card or anything white in the image. You'll be able to select different whites until you get a good color by eye. It's simple when you know where to look and I hope this tutorial has cleared up any confusion about how to adjust the white balance in Final Cut Pro. For more on color scopes, click the eye above. Okay.